So the facility was originally built in 2012. We purchased the facility in 2020. When we purchased it, it was uh, biogas uh, being used for electricity, sold to the local utility, Madison Gas and Electric. We purchased it with two intentions. One is to convert it from biogas to electricity to renewable natural gas production. Uh, and then the second was to add all of the distributed energy that we see around us and behind me here. Uh, and we did that in order to, to lower the carbon intensity score of the fuel that's produced here to make it more valuable. We pull about 120,000 gallons of manure um, from about five local farms, uh, one which is piped over, four others that are trucked over. Uh, we've got three uh, one million gallon um, digesters. Um, solid separation, uh, we partner here with Aqua Innovations. They do nutrient concentration, dewatering, the liquid stream, and then uh, all the RNG cleanup. Um, but the really special thing about this facility is all of the renewable energy. We've got uh, just shy of three megawatts of solar here, as well as some battery energy storage, and we're equipped to do uh, EV charging here as well for some of our trucking. There's three things that leave this facility. Um, one is the concentrated liquid nutrients um, that go back to the farms for them to use. That's been dewatered, so they're, they're, they're working with a lot less liquid nutrient that they have to spread. Um, the second is the solids that leave this facility. Uh, and the reason they, they leave here and are not used as bedding is because they, uh, is, that's the method by which we remove phosphorus from the Yahara Rivershed, which is part of the charter of this facility. Uh, and then finally, the, the renewable natural gas that's produced here. Uh, it's trucked from here to the Dane County landfill where it's injected into an interstate pipeline. Our most recent thing was the addition of EV charging here. Um, we have a partnership with uh, Packart, which is Peterbilt and Kenworth. Um, we had one of their uh, class eight uh, all electric trucks here on site for a week uh, that was doing hauling of the uh, compressed renewable natural gas to the Dane County landfill. So we're always looking at different things, different ways that we can uh, decrease the carbon intensity score of our processes uh, to, to make the fuel more renewable and more valuable. You know, a lot of the large scale farms already have digester operations, RNG operations like this at them. To get to that next tier of farm typically takes a, a community approach, gathering a bunch of farmers together uh, in an area and having them all feed into a facility like this. So it's definitely uh, a lot of folks working on that as the next step of this.